Well, hey there team, and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Generation Zero. This is part of my revisit series we've had on and off over the years, I'm bringing it back, uh, cheating a little bit on this one, but normally what we're gonna do is go back and look at a game to showcase it in current year, 2021, that's maybe out of cycle, out of popularity to, to just, you know, shout out things that seem pretty cool. However, in this case, I did happen to notice that Generation Zero is on a pretty deep sale on Steam at the moment. And I've had this sitting in my uh, library. I just, I missed the release window. I've never played it actually. So in this particular case, it's it's more of a overview video in the traditional sense on the channel. It's just sort of out of season, perhaps a little bit popular. Maybe people are sniffing around as well, similar to me, because it's on special on Steam. So what is this? Well, I mean, it seems to be a sort of 80s era invasion, you know, it's that Hollywood trope, we don't see that much these days. I think of things like Tomorrow When the War Began, at least from a novel perspective. Um, so 80s robots attacking like a Swedish quiet town, and you are sort of the guerrilla fighters of the local populace fighting back. So a bit of a resistance movement um, with an 80s theme and, and robots, and 80s robots works for me. This, this ambient music is very much of that synthwave uh, re, uh, revamp that we're seeing these days. Um, I believe this game shines in four-player co-op. That's where it's at. I'm just playing it on my own. I know there'll be an audience that want to play it on their own and see, you know, bruises and all, whether it's still playable in that state. Anyway, there's your setup. That's what's going on. We're going to have a look. And, uh, you know, if I like it, if you like it, if it's well received, maybe we have a few more episodes. Who knows? Oh, my God. Look at this dude. Male for male. Okay, you, you look the same. Um, uh, what is going on here? Character A, B, I can't tell the difference. I really can't. How much of the alphabet do I get? All right, let's just go A, skin tone, starting outfit. All right. <laughs> oh, look at those leggings. Looks like something out of a Warhammer lineup. Uh, let's see, hip hopper. <laughs> greaser? That's not a greaser. You can't be a greaser with a hat on. Oh, okay. Popular. Look at this dude. Yeah, I'll show you a tunnel sneak, a mutter. Nerd. <laughs> oh, metal head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, military rev. Oh, my God. We're going this dude. We got. Look at this dude. Hardcore overload. You know he's fucking serious if he wears that jacket. Oh, my God. The bloody. The emo of the 80s, I suppose. Thinks he's cool, doesn't realize he's not. Uh, difficulty level is intended for players for more of a challenge. Standard difficulty. That sounds pretty good to me. I like standard. Automatic difficulty scaling. That sounds cool too. A and A, whatever. You can just be bloody boring. That's, that's fine. Um, okay, let's go. Start game. Your game is set to invite only. Yeah, well, that's fine. Like I said, Seems more of a multiplayer experience, but that's all right. We'll see if it's got legs as a single player. <clears throat> After World War II, Sweden enjoyed an economic boom from having come unscathed out of the war, but neutrality had come at the cost of integrity as the poor readiness had forced the country to make deals with, oh, the big H-man, big old Hitler. Into, uh, intent on not ending up in the same situation again, Sweden's newfound riches were invested in the so-called total defense, the ability to protect the border while also shielding and maintaining a civilian life. Over the coming years, Sweden massively increased military spending whilst organizing the civilian preparedness for what increasingly seemed like an inevitable invasion from the east. Every man, woman and child was drilled to be ready for the war, knowing exactly what to do and where to go when the sirens sounded. And most most importantly, to offer resistance at all times, in all situations. Oh, okay. I like that. I, I don't know much about Sweden. I don't know if that's how it worked out, to be honest. You and some classmates have spent a few days out in the archipelago, cut off from the world. As you return, your boat is suddenly hit by explosive projectiles fired from shore. You don't know what fired at you or why, but you managed to make it to shore injured, but alive. Oh, geez, we're just bloody straight into it. This place is not safe. Maybe you can find some help in the nearby house. Okay. Search the house for anything. Move around using the left stick. Or oh, somehow I don't think so. We are doing mouse and keyboard. Hold to open. Oh, oopsie daisies. Do I get a flashlight? Split on. 
Hmm. I'd be curious how much of this... Oh, okay, and there's my boat, or... Wait, no, that's traffic. Why is there vehicles in the water? I don't know. The mystery ensues. Weapons, zero of one. Oh, that's very uh, Assassin's Creed, a bit Ubisofty. I like the. Oh, look, police sirens back there. What's going on? Mom? Dad? Is anybody home? Can we check in the shed first? Seems like a good weapon place. I'm on high alert. I've had my national training. I, lo I like this setting. This is cool. It's fucking eerie, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Oh shit. What am I looking at here? It's a fucking... Robo man. What is this? Oh, a Mola PP. Oh, yeah, okay, let's fucking go. I got no crackers for it, though. Wait, what was that button? Oh, it was the door? Okay. Let me see. It looks like blood, doesn't it? Oh, no. Got knocked out of the chair. Oh, the world building's happening. What's this? Hold to take. Flashlight. Press F. Oh. oh no. Dude's died. Hold to read. Read more is why, is it? Binks handwritten note. Mats. Break of dawn. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Interesting. We tried to call you at home, but you probably rushed to the station as soon as you heard the readiness alarm. You'll have enough on your plate as it is, but in case you find this, just know that your mum and I are doing fine. We'll just drive over to the village and wait it out there. Be careful, mum and dad. Am I, am I, is that me? Mats, am I Mats? I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Smoking some darts before it all happened. Oh, look at this. It's like a fucking head crab one. Oh, no. Who are you? Do I know you? Um, take all. Take all is R. Okay, yeah, all right. Uh, take all. First aid kits can be used to restore health. Equip it in equipment slot. Okay. What is that, like an EpiPen? Adrenaline? Melee weapons are best utilized in close combat or when you've run out of ammo. Swing. Alternatively. Okay, yeah, cool. So can I, like, press numbers or something? Hang on. Inventory, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah, inventory. This is a uh, primary weapons equipped. Sidearms. Three. Assigned to slot. Three. Assigned to slot. Oh, I can only have one assigned to a slot at a time? What about you? Assigned to slot four. Oh, the, the pistol might go in the... I want to make that slot two or something. Oh, fuck. What have I done now? I pressed the wrong button. Um, okay. Assign to slot. Oh, I can't, I can't assign that to a slot, but I can... Oh, my goodness. Okay, this, this is a little bit confusing. That's fine. That's fine. That's part of showing off these games. Oh, here we go. Take all. Varsity jacket. So can I put on my jacket? All. Yeah. When consume revive an unconscious player. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, Pro profile, is that what's going on? Right, okay, so I can put on bloody clothes if, if I want. Varsity jacket, okay, that's cool. No, I don't want my leather jacket, because I'm, I'm so cool. I think I'm cool. Okay, what a quaint little house. All right, I could use some bullets, though. First aid kit. I'm on 100 health, so we're all, all good. Though... What was it? Is this all? All. 
assign slot. Okay, so three. Right, well, until I get bullets, this will bloody do. Search the house for anything of use. Oh, I guess we can go upstairs. Wait, did we not just... No, we went ground floor. All right, let's go upstairs. There's bloody... A bit of blood on the stairs. Oh. Oh, fuck. It's all part of the game. It's hand, bloody handprints up here. Albinos. Search the police car for ammo. Oh, look at this. Old mate's clam clambered over here, and so shall I. Oh. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Dude, that really hurt me. Police. Polis. Right, so he's run over a bloody robot. Elegant tailcoat. That doesn't seem like something a robot should have. No. Steel. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Poor bloody Janet. Here we go. Hollow point ammo. Right, so I reckon... Did I get any other guns? I did not. But this... E3. No, you... Fuck. Oh my god. So, I have to click on it and press E and then click on that to make it 3. Alright, now we got some bullets. Locate and destroy an enemy. Alright, do I have a map now? Alright, okay. How big is this world? Holy Jesus. Okay, we're not we're not messing around. So I guess I just go looting and uh and exploring. I'll turn my flashlight off. We don't need that on. Weapons collectibles. So there's a collectible in here somewhere. Okay. Okay, well that's cool. So it gives you something to search for. Alright. Got a lot of first aid kits. Let's test one out. Okay. Dude, this is eerie. I like it. Does this have, like, weapons, perhaps? Alright. Where am I? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um. Safe house? And that's another safe, safe house. Can I fast travel to that? Oh, okay, so that's the dock. Track the ferry pier. Let's fast travel to this. Yeah. Oh, this, this music. What's going on in here? Let's have a quick squeeze. See if there's anything. Here we go. There's my collectible. What's going on here? If the war comes. So, you know what? We can come back and read that. I, I don't want to get too bogged into that sort of stuff in a first episode. Because, like I said, this this primarily serves as a sort of shout-out, raising awareness, letting you know what the game's about, see if it's for you. And then, uh, like I said, depending on interest, can turn into a bit of a longer, dare I say, let's play or series or whatever you'd like to call it. Is my stamina out? Is that what's going on? Okay. I can switch an ammo. ACP... HP. Hollow point. Halt! Oh, they're shooting at me. Oh, 
No, we're all right. We're all right. All right, not bad. That health kit's working. Let's let's get another one. Yum. Yummy, 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 yummy. This is cool. I like the sort of European horror setting. It's kind of cool. Adhesive. Vest. Why am I getting these vests? Hollow points. So switch ammo. I don't think I have any other ammo. Okay, that's fine. Follow the road to look for a safe place. Oh, okay. I was going to go to the pier. But I seem to have become confused. Let's check the pier first. Buggy you game, I'm doing what I want. I like it, I like it. This is cool. I will be curious. You know, like a, a four-player co-op... Oh, hang on, something's looking at me. Four-player co-op shooter. Where are they? Can you see them? I don't see them. Four-player co-op shooters. They can be a bit thin on the... Uh, the engagement that you might need in a single player. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's still saying there's more collectibles there. Interesting. So what's going on here? Oh shit, here we go. Explosive gas tank. Alright. Got some vehicles waiting at the pier. I suppose I could search them. I don't want to be too anal about all that stuff. Okay. Oh, I see a robot up there. Let's go bust him up. I don't see him. Oh, listen to that noise it makes. Evasives. I can't see it through the fucking trees. He did? That's interesting. They seem to flank pretty aggressively. Dude, I'm chewing on these things like they're fucking candy bars. Goodness. I'm out of I'm out of bloody health packs. Oh my goodness. So um I don't think I'm going terribly in the fight, but Jesus, they're throwing dudes against me. Um I have clicked off my screen. That is weird. One combat level up. Nice. Okay. Um where's the other bloke that I killed? Okay. Yeah, so my mouse might not be locked, which is interesting. It was giving me thumbstick prompts as well. I wonder if, uh... I wonder how we go with thumbsticks, actually. Let's see. Uh... Game... Gamepad, right? Invert Y. Let's see. Let's see how the gunplay goes. I'm always curious about auto-aim. I don't know how to crouch. Fuck it, we'll give this guy a go. See what sort of soft lock we've got. Oh, 
Doesn't seem to have any lock at all. Hmm. I mean, the gunplay's not terrible. Gunplay's not terrible. I'm going back to mouse and keyboard, but uh, I'll be honest, if I'm playing with thumbsticks, I'm being a bit more casual, and I don't think I'm alone in that. I, expe I expect a, a soft lock, for sure. But there doesn't seem to be one at all. So, uh, fuck playing this with thumb six. Alright, let's keep going. I think I'm supposed to follow the road, but I got better plans. Oh, what's that? I've got a marker on my map now? What is that? Oh, uh, what is that? I don't know. Let's see. How many 10,000 bloody med kits do I have to eat? Okay. Simple first aid. Bird shot. Yeah, I'm still only rocking the same ammo. What's this? Letter with Hunter's address. Let's, well, it seems this might be important. On the envelope, someone with a very stylish handwriting uh, has jotted down Kurt Organ, Bjorkness, Iber Holman. The letter inside reads, Kurt, that's it. I can't stand living in Stockholm anymore, far away from you. That wasn't for me, I supposed. I'll visit one of these coming weekends. Let's go hunting together again, shall we? Guess hunting has grown on me a bit, Arnie. Okay, find Hunter's hat called Bjorkness. New mission. Oh, I can track it? Oh, oh okay. Can't search this bloke for some reason. All right, well, oh, look at that. Sanctuary main mission, Hunter. No, no, let's redirect because I need more guns. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nope, they don't see me. Yeah, so I kind of like this gorilla movement through the eerie, smoky, misty... Forest. This it's cool. Like as far as like ambience goes, this is banging. This is really oh fuck. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, so the first bark is sort of like a warning alert. That doesn't mean you're on. Stand still, you bastard. Fuck evasive. Is it dead? Is it blowing up? Is that what's going on? Nope. Alright, so it goes into several damage stages as well. He's learning. He's evolving. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, hang on. What is this bullshit? Oh, dude, this is... That's nightmare fuel. That's straight out of... Uh, slices? Fuck, what was the name? I can't remember. There was a... 80s movie with these bloody robot mind things that come out come out of the ground. I can't remember. I think it had Robocop actor in it. Um okay. Skate shoes in a cop car. Alright. Dude, it's a bit tragic. All these poor dead policemen. There's no dead civilians, I've noticed. Oh, we did find that one sort of looter, dude. Firework. What was that? I don't even know what that was. Oh, a flashlight? I've already got one of those. Thank you. I'm getting another marker up ahead. All right. I like that. That's, uh, that telegraphs you to go into stealth mode. So, seems you can jump them if you're uh, clever about it. Get a mag and a half into them before they re really collect themselves. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. I do wonder, you know, the single player legs. I'll tell you what though, conversely, as as much as I'm sitting here talking to a bloody microphone and YouTube in it, so my experience is different. 
the eerie ambience, the pseudo horror of this early experience may well be lost in the multiplayer setting, right? If you're just being a fucking dude bro with your chud mates, like smashing cans on Discord and talking about tits, you know, a normal bloody Friday night, maybe a lot of this ambience could be lost on you as well. Well, so we'll see. My my biggest curiosity is how the difficulty scales. Um, oh, look at him. He's got a little bloody scanner. Is this a different model? Doesn't look different, does it? Oh, hang on. I might, might try and jump this bloke. Reminds me of a Black Mirror episode. These little puppy dog things. Robo dogs. Dude, all right, so they might have weak spots because we messed him up. They've got like, oh, they've got something on the head on the top, like a gas tank. All right. Oh shit, I'm getting, I'm getting third party. Hang on. Oh, he's got like a bloody shockwave. Fuck you. Oh, okay, that's interesting. He goes into his firing... Oh, right, here we go. He goes into his little firing thing regardless. Alright, seems like there's another one creeping around somewhere. Sounds like he's in the building. Doesn't it? Sounds like he's in there. Fucking face hugger, motherfucker. Here we go. Here we go. A little 243. Oh, this will fucking tickle him a bit. Just a bit, though. Take radio. Interesting. Wood. Okay, so this this takes the primary slot. Uh, switch ammo. I've only got two crackers for this thing. I feel like the long arm indoors is going to... Yeah, especially without the ammo. Fuck, am I going to get jumped here? Though they do have an audio bark, which I'm not hearing. We're on 53, I think, and we went to 83, so 30 for a med kit. Oh, rifle scope. Interesting. Search for any usable supplies in and around the hunter's cabin. Okay, cool. Let's have a squeeze. Did I sweep through here? I don't think so. The hunter complete. Okay, I like it. It's pretty, pretty standard fear. And then hopefully that's given us a few more bullets to send at the enemy. I like that. What is going on with my gloves? They're having a hard time with my hand. Okay, cool, cool. And let's just see, can we... Attachments. Sights. Alright, there we go. Oh, oh my goodness, the deceleration is significant. Um, okay. I don't suppose we can toggle the sights. Well, no, you couldn't really. You'd have to physically remove it. Hmm. Well, that's good. This might be a good way to start some arguments with uh, with the robots. So, so, look, 
My take on this, again, like I said, even though I'm putting this under the revisit banner, this is my first time with this game. I think it was 2019, something like that. Um, 10 out of 10 ambience, right? I, I'm i a huge fan of uh, games like Half-Life and that, where it is the first person forced perspective, very important. Uh, Far Cry 6, I think, made a misstep doing like the third, not even third person, but the pull-out cinematics where you show your character and all that. There is something unique in the video game space when you keep it in a locked perspective in first person and you have to experience the game through first person at all times. I think it, it adds to a level of immersion if you're in that genre. And having a silent protagonist like a, like a Gordon Freeman um, actually has this really interesting secondary kick-on effect where the world building and the world around you has to do a lot of heavy lifting and I find it actually works better in a video game setting. You know, than, than, well, not that you really have silent protagonists in movies, but I actually find it to be a really unique and particularly uh, genre-specifically good way of, of, uh, of building the world in the ambience. Anyway, so this game actually nails that, even though we haven't really interacted with any characters. I don't even know if there's NPCs in this. I wouldn't be surprised if you just don't talk to people, but I am curious, where is everyone? Why are there only dead cops? They've clearly been taken, you know. Um, the, the population's missing, not so much killed. So color me curious. But uh, yeah, the world building is out of control. I think it's really cool. Um, and uh, I suppose the 80s creates an interesting setting. Like it's not super heavy duty on the nose 80s, but also it's probably, you know, what you can't really ring on the mobile phone. You're kind of on your own. It's a little bit more, you know, edge of the frontier. I, I know in modern times, but a lot of modern technology would would create this, would make this world building not really feasible. Um, and the robots seem pretty cool. They're kind of terrifying and original. I can't wait to see what more they have. We've got face hugger inspiration and fucking speedy dog dudes. I'm sure there's all sorts of horrible bloody dreadnought things out there. Anyway, it's really good. I did mention my concerns along the way. If you're playing it on your own, who knows? It's hard to tell this early in. I wonder what sort of legs it has in the long run. But conversely, maybe you're having a more immersive experience just playing it on your own. I don't know. But at f first blush, this game seems really cool. I really like it a lot. Anyway, hopefully this has helped. Maybe you, you're looking at it on the Steam special and the sale. You, you're thinking about getting this and you wanted a bit more info. Hopefully this helps. Bit of gameplay, a few thoughts. That's the point of these videos. If it's well received and you guys want to see some more, I like it. Thumbs up from me. If you guys liked it as well, maybe we'll do some more episodes, turn it into a bit more of a longer series if that's what you want. All right, enough waffling from me. Team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.